Welcome to the solution video for absolute value and distance. These are the questions presented at the beginning of the video. So hopefully you posted your answers in the comments and you got them correct. About to go over the solutions. But as always, if you'd like to support free education on YouTube, you can join the channel as a member for only $2 Canadian or $5 Canadian a month and support free education. So I appreciate anyone who's been liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel. It all helps immensely. Perfect, let's go over the solutions. So, we want to find the distance between these different numbers. So remember, distance is not about being positive or negative, it's just about how far away two numbers are on the number line. So, we can do these visually if we like, but we can do these with a formula as well. So, let's see how these work. Negative 3 and negative 21. I can plot them on the number line, so I'm looking for the distance between them. Okay. So with our formula, we just subtract one number from the other with the absolute value. And it doesn't matter which one we do first. So we can take negative three minus 21 or 21 minus negative three, whichever one you find easier. So let's do negative three minus 21. We wanna take the absolute value of that. We're going to end up with the absolute value of negative 24. And that gives us a solution of 24. So negative three is 24 units away from 21. And if we were to do negative, so if we were to do 21 minus negative 3, show this with this example, we would get 21 plus 3, which is the same thing as the absolute value of 24, which just gives us an output of 24. So regardless of which number you subtract, you're going to end up with the same result. Okay, this next number, we've now included decimal points. So this is where you might have some confusion because we have decimal points. So negative 14.7. It's gonna be exactly the same process, but sometimes having the decimal point there makes the calculations harder for some people. Same process though, don't worry. We're still looking for the distance between these two. Might just not be as easy to do in your head. So same process. I'm gonna take negative 6.3, and I'm going to subtract negative 14.7 from it. So I take the first number and I subtract the second number. So yes, the two negatives are going to cancel out here to make a positive. We're going to get negative 6.3 plus 14.7. That's going to be the absolute value. Okay, at this point you might want to flip them around just to make it a little bit easier mentally. Do this if you're a type of student who needs to have everything written in a nice easy to understand order. So 14.7 minus 6.3. And what we have now, we just do sub our subtraction. So we're going to be left with the absolute value of 8.4, which gives us an out point, output of 8.4. So the distance between negative 6.3 and negative 14.7 is just going to be 8.4 units. So uh, if we were to actually just keep this order the same, negative 6.3 plus 14.7, we're gonna get the same thing. If we were to reverse the order that we subtracted the numbers, we would get an absolute value of negative 8.4, and our final result would still be 8.4. I won't show that one explicitly, uh, but you can subtract the numbers in either order, just like the first one. The decimals do not make it any more difficult. Okay. Last question, we want to evaluate each expression. So this is just making sure you understand that absolute values lie before the operators outside the absolute values. So in the first example, we have the absolute value of 3 halves minus 6 thirds. So we have to do uh, this calculation first before we get an output. So we're going to get, this is the absolute value of 1.5 minus 2. So I'm just turning these into uh, decimals because they're easier to work with at this stage, especially when the numbers are small. This gives us an absolute value of negative 0 0.5, which gives us an output of 0 0.5. So uh, this expression comes out to 0.5. And the way that we can interpret this is by asking, what is the distance between 6 thirds and three halves, or what is the distance between 1.5 and 2 on our real number line? And uh, yeah, this one intuitively a little bit more straightforward than some of the ones with larger caps, so 0 0.5.
Okay, this next one. We want the absolute value of negative 7 plus the absolute value of 6 minus the absolute value of negative 10. Well, before we add these, we have to take the absolute values first, and that's sort of what this is verifying that you understand. So this one is going to be 7, that's the absolute value of negative 7, plus 6, which is the absolute value of 6, minus 10, which is the absolute value of negative 10. And then when we add these together, it's the same thing as 13 minus 10, and that just gives us 3. So with B, we're not really doing a number line interpretation. We're basically saying, uh, what's the distance of negative 7 to 0? Add that to the distance of 6 to 0, and then subtract the distance from 10 to 0. So uh, visually, a lot harder to represent, and not quite the same thing as finding a distance between two points. Uh, but anyways, those were the solutions. If you have any questions about the solutions, post them below, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can.